What if there was a secret to really improving your skating? I mean, a giant leap in speed and balance. Well, there is, and now we're gonna share it with you. Hello everyone, I'm John Heffernan, and welcome to the Russian Skating System. Sergei Tartikov, a Russian Olympian, will take you through this easy to follow videotape. Pro or beginner, you can learn the techniques of the Russian skating system, and that will give you a huge competitive edge. Hey, Sergey. Hey, Hef. What are we gonna work on today? Well, we're gonna work on the four things. We're gonna work on the body position, we're gonna work on the strokes, start stops, and the tight turns. Great, let's go. Let's go. This is bad body position. Notice how Sergei's feet are too narrow, the blades of his skates are flat, and he's leaning or bending forward at the waist. Bad body position will mean a player has less stability and power, and they will tire quicker when they skate, and they get knocked off the puck more easily. Here, Sergei has good body position. He has a wide base, feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart, and he's using the inside edges of his skates. This gives him a stable and strong base. His weight is equally distributed over both skates. The core center of the body is stable. His knees and hips are both bent. Notice he's not bending at the waist. His head and chin is up looking down ice. When I get hit, I'm trying to get my level down. I'm trying to create more friction down to the ice and trying to keep my body position straight so it's going to be more stable position and I can take off in any directions I want to. Let's look at Sergei's body position from the side. Notice how his knees are bent. The knees bend directly over the toes. His hips are slightly flexed or bent. The trunk of his body, meaning the abdominal and lower back area, stays strong and solid in an upright position. Here, one of our youth players is gonna demonstrate proper body position. When I push him, I feel that his body position is really strong, his legs really wide, and it's giving him more friction to the ice and more stability. Here, we have a young six-year-old demonstrating good body position. He has a nice wide base, knees are bent, and the upper body is upright and stable. See, when I'm first time push him, his knees start getting up and his waist start breaking down and it's caused him to lose the balance. Second time I'm pushing him, he's more solid with top of the body and he's trying to remind the level down. That's why it's more stable position. See this player's body position while gliding? It's exactly the same as if you were stationary. From this position, he can react quickly in any direction. Look at his body position while he's coming straight at you. His feet are slightly wider than shoulder width, and he's gliding on the inside edges, not the flats of the blades. This gives him increased stability and strength, and also will improve his quickness or reaction time. Now we're gonna look at the forward stroke. The essential elements to focus on for a good, powerful forward stroke are. Hello everyone, and welcome to tape number two. In tape number one, Sergei Tartikov taught you about the four basic principles of the Russian skating system. Correct body position, explosive strokes, starts and stops, turns and crossovers. This tape is designed to dramatically improve your agility, strength and skating skills on the ice. Hey Sergei, what are we going to cover today? Well, today we're going to cover skating backwards and the maneuvers. Gotcha. All right, Professor, let's get to work. <laughs> 